Yasukichi Murakami was just 16 when he sailed from Japan to the WA coast. By the turn of the century, he was running a busy photography studio in Broome. He helped run the Dampier Hotel, became a pioneer in the cultured pearling industry and even invented a modern-day pearl diving suit. Murakami eventually moved to Darwin and when the war broke out, he was interned. He died in captivity. His pictures were believed lost and the Murakami story was almost forgotten. That was until a Japanese-Australian photographer began investigating his story and the more people she spoke to, the more long-lost photographs she uncovered. Yes, Kichi Murakami's story is about photography, but there are many other things, uh, the stories to do with friendships, about marriages, family and love. Much of Murakami's work went unattributed, but his legacy is being celebrated now in a stage show, revealing what Broom was really like in the early days. One, two, three. We've lost a lot of that history, which is, it's great that this is now being reinstated by way of the play that has been put on and with the help of the Murakami family. Well, it's where he spent a lot of his life when he first came to Australia, and it's also where my father grew up after the war, and I've never been here, so I thought, great chance to come and see Broome and see the show again. The play featured during Broome's multicultural festival of the Pearl this week, and then heads to Adelaide and Sydney. Natalie Jones, ABC News, Broome.